Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an X, Tokyo Revengers. I've been loving this series, man. It gets so good, sometimes a bit crazy, but that's how an anime should be, right? I think it should be a little crazy. I mean, oh man, it's really cool. I love I loved seeing the gang fight devolve into what it really ends up being, which is just fucking chaos a lot of the time. Uh, although this is, once again, these are some real big gang fights. Uh, in the in the vein of like when you would see the hell's angels fight or something in a biker gang or some shit like that Sim just similarizing it to america right and um yeah i mean those things do bust out i remember a couple different ones i think they even had like a shootout at like a gun convention or some shit because this is america but I don't remember exactly the details on that, but it's fairly typical, right? And so watching the watching it devolve into chaos and uh, things like holding one the, them holding him while the other dude was being absolutely happens. That that stuff absolutely happens. Now there are, there are different gangs, right? And like different gang members. There's like a wide spectrum of people, just like any other walk of life. And so that not everyone's gonna do that to you. Some gang members kind of like uh, Mikey and them. Who are really more of like uh i guess you could say hoodlums or i forget what the delinquent i think was the term they were using uh and they're they have their code right they have a moralistic and honor-based code where they're not gonna like uh attack your family members most likely right they're not going to sneaker you behind the fucking store or some shit you know what i mean or walk up and just catch you one from behind shit like that like there's definitely people who do do these things too on the other side of the spectrum right who are not above anything but i feel like once again those are spectrums that exist in every walk of life right like politicians and business people are the exact same way uh and exist along the spectrum of kind of like what their moralistic codes are as far as like oh you know i'll just take this bribe <laughs> just saying so like you know uh, i just want to point out the fact that like i love that they de depict it what a gang member really tends to be which is not just a bad person like they're display displayed as in tv a lot of times right it's like all oh, these guys are just bad guys and but that's not really most of the time the case. There are definitely bad guys, right, in gangs, and gangs can produce bad guys, and there are situations that lead invariably towards those uh, kind of people because of the situations you're placed in, but I knew plenty of, you know, gang members and people who had done some pretty messed up stuff who were polite and respectful and did all these things because that was how they functioned, right? Now, they would definitely still shoot you, but they're, you know, they have a little bit more, I guess you could say class, <laughs> but not really. Uh, so I really am enjoying that aspect. I don't want to spend too much more time talking because we're already three minutes in. As always, remember to support the original content on Crunchyroll or wherever you can buy the manga because this is a great series. And let's get right into it. Uh, also, shout out, shout out to our patrons on Patreon. You guys make the dream work, and uh, I really appreciate you so much. So thank you again. Uh, all our patrons are listed in our description below as a shout out, and uh, our five dollar patrons get shout outs at the end of the video. So yeah, let's go ahead and get her started. Uh, we're we're gonna watch this again because this was a uh, this was just great. I'm sure someone in the world has to be able to do that, right? But I, it, in my mind, that is just so impossible to lift someone and kick someone at head level in a deathly way like that. That's just so strong, man. He's crazy. It is Mikey, though, so. Look at him. Poof. I wish I had muscles. I guess I better hit the gym like I keep telling Takamichi to do. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's gotta be in serious, not good condition after that. <gasps> right, or, I keep thinking, just pop, 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 but <laughs> it's, uh, we're not trying to kill him. We're trying to save, make sure we don't kill him. Yep, there's the weapons. Told you, that's like common, and uh, those are actually really common because they're mo almost not illegal most places. Like, you can carry those around without getting arrested for it a lot of the time. Not sure about in Japan. 
<clears throat> but in America, a nightstick's a, a fully legal weapon to just carry around on you. And it's compact. Uh, like you saw that one's probably packs up to a thing something about this long and then goes up to something about that long. Yeah, they're getting double teamed here. Like I said, just kick a couple cars. Watch them motherfuckers go flying. For anyone who uh, says that he's a bitch for biting, this is a fight, homie. I'll, I'll bite your knee off like Mike Tyson out on the streets. Don't test me. <laughs> and I'll eat it, too. Oh, who's here? Oh, really? So this is how he's going to win him over. Still going to end up the same, huh? Where have you been this whole time? I haven't seen him fight a single motherfucker before that. Is this his squad ready to protect? Oh, hey, it's that guy. Where has he been? All his guys look undamaged, too, like they just got here. And that's kind of coincidental. Where's he been? That's a, look, look, he's untouched. I told you to just kill him a while ago, but nobody listened to me. You'd even be out in a couple years, most likely, after you come back to the future because you'd have done your time for 12 years in the past. It was actually a great plan. Baji, what? Well, he's still on Valhalla, so this could be a betrayal or could be a, uh, you know what I mean? He could really just be shooting for Kasagi like his uh, underling thought. He could, <laughs> with a full swing like that, you could eat, I mean, once again, go watch watching Walking Dead with fucking, uh, <laughs> I'm forgetting his name. You know who I'm talking about, Glenn. Go watch Glenn scene. That's what happens when you get hit in the head with a metal object at high velocity when someone's not holding back. That's that's a couple of good ones. It's uh, all it takes, man. Or one good one, like we saw with uh, Mikey's brother. It. I don't know what he's thinking. He knows why he's doing this. <laughs> Bam! Saw that coming. Then just grab an arm. Yeah, that back of the head shot will do that. This is where I like him. This is where it happens. He's gonna hit him, isn't he? He fucked up again. Why? Yeah. He lost sight of the goal again. Not killing the right people. So, um, before we get past this commercial, note to self, don't let Takamichi try to protect me from getting stabbed. Ever. Okay, let's go. I guess I shouldn't ask. This guy is insane in the membrane. I mean, I'm pretty sure he just got stabbed. It's not over here yet. Mm. I have a feeling that's not quite right. Still has a knife, doesn't he? Oh, so now he's blaming Baji. Of course he's crazy. Something's going on here. 
Oh no. Damn. I actually wasn't expecting that one. Just my personal opinion. Oh, his face looks a little weird there, Takamichi's. See, and these guys are at least braced for the hit, so they know it's coming. They can prepare their neck muscles and their head to kind of take the blow. Kind of? I have a feeling this might be his one. He's just on the phone. He literally doesn't care. Yep, calling Hanma. Okay. Guessing he never fought Mikey. Ooh. Already? I don't know why he waited. Come on. What the fuck is he waiting for, man? This isn't a question. This was an answer. This was an end. <laughs> if Baji was a little less hesitant in here, the story would probably be over. I don't know what he's waiting on. Is he dead already on his feet? Yeah, there should have been a hole earlier. I don't know what's stopping him from pressing forward two inches, but... Yeah, I guess he's too much to go two inches forward to stab him, even though you were just going up the whole thing with that. Yep, he's dead. Dummies. And the episode. Yep, saw that coming. Once again, uh, reminder, never let Takamichi be the guy to keep you from being stabbed. Uh, all but luck that Draken lived, and uh, yeah, we saw it happen this time. So, I mean, maybe they get Baji, but I'm pretty sure he's been dead. Story's gotta progress, right? So, uh, does I have no idea why he waited. It's, it said, as oh, soon as the hit went, stab. I don't know, waited for him to turn around, stab him through the back. So, <laughs> but not only are you dying, so who gives a shit about anything like honor or fucking morals or any of that shit? Like, that's about, that's gonna be meaningless in about five seconds, so might as well just stab him in the back. <laughs> oh, man. But besides that, I think everything kind of went in a way that I was thinking. They threw me off by not showing any stab mark or bleeding at all. Just just to try to trick us into thinking, I guess, that he was going to live, but it wasn't a really good trick, and it really just ends up being bad consistency and animation at the end of the day. That, that kind of irritates me, because I know why they did it, just didn't do a good job of it. You could have done something where he wraps his stomach off screen or something, and you could see, or even just some hints of drips of blood. It was, that's one of my only things from this episode. Otherwise, I think it all went pretty well although i don't know if we really see mikey seeing him because mikey's still kind of gonked out but i'm assuming he's just gonna come up and there's baji gonna be dead and everyone will tell him exactly what happened so he'll go kill kazutora which i'm guessing takamichi will try to stop him get his ass beat and probably fail i'm gonna guess maybe not i don't know exactly how the next episode is gonna go because now it's kind of outside the thing i thought it would have been a funnier thing if they had changed it so that kazutora didn't stab him there I thought, I swear, that feels like there's another time traveler still, and that would have been a good part to, like, put it in and, like, retro it to be like, all right, he didn't get stabbed, and then he does get stabbed right in front of Mikey. But I see what they were going for, and it's not a bad cliche. It's just a cliche. <laughs> Having said that, it was still a fun episode that I really enjoyed watching, and I'd love to hear what you guys think. As always, hit the comments below to let me know what you guys think, or, you know, just chat and talk with us you can also check out our discord which is in the description below uh finally remember to support the original content creator because without them we don't get more of this great stuff uh the link for that is also in the description below and uh you know if you liked like if you
you want to comment, comment. If you want to see more, subscribe and maybe hit the bell for some notifications when we drop new material. And uh, yeah, thank you once again to all my patron supporters. You guys are the best and I really do appreciate everything you do for me. I'll catch you guys next time on Reactions with an X, Tokyo.